Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to add any of the material from Polyhavens into Blender 4.0 to make it become the materials textures on any of the 3D models in your Blender. So now we can see at the beginning, by default, any of the 3D models it doesn't have any of the materials. And by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to, to know that how to add any of the material easily and just in one minute to attach any of the material texture and the normal roughness etc to your 3D model. And just have a look here. This is the Polyhavens. The first step, you can just go to my video description, find the, the Polyhavens link, click into the first link, or you can just type it in your browser, the polyhaven.com slash textures. Then it is going to lead you to this website. Then from here, you can just select any of the materials that you want. Then what you need to do is just right click, open in a new tab after you select it. Then the first step, just choose 1K from here. Then click the triple line here. Just buy, just untick everything. We only choose the JPG. All of the JPG, we take it. The rest, we don't select it. Then click download. This is just one of the material. Once you click download, now it is downloading and after a few seconds, it will appear inside your download folder. Alright, once it shows this, that means it already finished downloaded. Then you can just right click your file explorer, then choose the download folder. See, it is already here, download folder. Again, right click your file explorer, go to the download folder, it is here. The next step, what you need to do is just right click it, extract all, then click extract. Then you can see after it extract, it is a folder, just double click it, open the texture folder. Now we can see all of these are the materials, you have the diffuse, you have the displacements, the normal etc. So what we need is just these three, right? The diffuse, roughness and normal. The normal you can choose either ones, right? Just logically look at which ones are for you on it. Let's say this one is okay. So for this roughness, it is going to shrink it into the wall. So we don't choose this, All right? So next step, just back to the blender. As there are more, I'm going to just create a fresh new project without save it. And I press A and press delete to clear everything. So I'm going to show you the step by step how to use all of these materials. So first I'm going to just add a mesh. For example, I add a UV sphere or I can just add a, add a cylinder or add a cube. So as demo, I will just add a cube. So the first step, once you already add it, just go to the Just go to the shading here, then click plus new. Then you can see at here, you have the base color, roughness and normal. First drag the base color, then type image texture. Choose the image texture color, then click open. So next you back to your folder, copy the folder destination location, control C to copy then back to the blender, click here, control V to paste and press enter. Then choose the diffuse. You can see DIFF means the diffuse. First you double click to choose the diffuse. So you can see the texture already added. This is the base color. Next, drag out the roughness to here. Then choose the image texture as well. Click, then click open. Press control V to paste the location just now and press enter so now you can see the rough means the roughness you choose the last one this is the roughness next is the normal drag the normal to here choose the image texture as well then click open then paste it here control v and press enter 
choose the normal map just now double click now you can see the normal map also already added now it already become a PBR it already become a, a PBR material so now you back to the layout once you want to render you can just turn this on you can see the material already added then if you back to the shading just have a check check your normal right it is here so you can change the material anytime just by by clicking the opens so you can just choose again open and then it is really easy back to the layout check your material and here you can see everything are here So this is the way on how to just just create any of the material from Polyheavens, add it to your Blender three D modeling software and three D animation software. And now this is the PBR. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your three D modeling, three D animations, and three D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!